Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. In this video, we are going to see what else we can do with our own ServiceNow instance. By this time, hopefully you have got your own ServiceNow instance and created your own user profile in it. If you haven't, then you can watch these two videos. The link for these videos are given in the description. Okay. Now we are going to start today's video. Right now, we are logged in as our user in ServiceNow and at the top right corner you will see this icon click on this here you will see two areas that is called instance here on the left side and account on the right side in the account you will see your account details and you can sign out from here in the instance area you will see instance status release user role app engine studio instance action activity so we are going to talk about these area one by one instance status it tells the status of your instance whether your instance is online or offline right now it is online release tell what is the current version your instance is running right now it is San Diego user role tell what is the role of your user? It is admin. App Engine Studio. Whether it is installed or not. It is installed right now. Now we are going to see this instance action in a bit. But first we are going to see activity. So it is written instance with no activity for over 10 days will be claimed back into the pool. Okay. So what it means is that if you if you are not doing something in your instance and your instance is being at sleep for 10 days or over 10 days then your instance will be reclaimed by ServiceNow. But you can also request your instance back from ServiceNow if the ServiceNow has reclaimed your instance. Suppose your instance was over 10 days and was at sleep ServiceNow will send a reminder message that do some activity but by chance you forgot to log in into your instance then ServiceNow oh, after 10 days reclaim your instance but if you want your instance to be back then you can always request your instance back without losing any data alright so this was activity area now we are going to talk about instance actions what else we can do with our instance so we are going to click on this this is the dialog box which we got first is activate plugin plugins are additional features for your instance plugins are of two types one that is free other one is being paid just like an application if you want to download an application on your mobile, you can download it for free or you have to pay some more amount for a particular application. Plugin is also the same kind of way. So they are free and they are paid. You can download any plugin according to your requirement from this area. There are multiple plugins which are available for free and you can download it on your instance. Next is manage email properties. You can manage the email properties means sending of an email from your instance, receiving of an email in your instance. So you can enable this from here. Next is release instance. If you want to release your instance, if you don't want to work on it or you want to just release it, you give a particular reason here. These are the reasons available which you can select. After selecting one of the reasons, you can click on this release instance button at the bottom you see here. Okay. Change user role. As we have seen in the previous window that user role was admin. So you can change if you want it from this side. And you will see a description of what admin roles does and what app engine studio creator role does. Right now we are going to leave it as admin. Remove demo data. When you get a ServiceNow instance, there are demo data present in it. Now, if you want to remove that particular demo data, 
then you can remove this from this area. As we have seen in the video where we create our own user profile, there were users which are demo data. If you want to remove those demo data from the users table, then you can come up to this area and you can clean your demo data from your instance. Alright, just you have to select this, read this and remove demo data. Okay. Next, we are going to see manage instance password. This is one of the most important action. In this, we can manage the instance password. Right now, what you are seeing here is the instance name, instance URL, username and the password. So, if you forgot the password of your username of your admin user, then you can come up to this window and you can see your username and password here. If you want a copy of your login credential to be sent on email then you can select this link and if you want to reset the instance password then you can click on this link so from here you can manage the instance password next we are going to see that is reset and wipe instance okay so this is for wiping the instance or resetting the instance suppose you are doing something on your instance and something got changed in your instance by mistake or by something that the instance is not working so you can always reset and wipe the instance you just have to click on these radio buttons if you want to keep the instance name if you don't want to keep the instance name and want to get a new name for your instance and click on checkbox and click on this reset wipe instance button next is upgrade instance in this we can upgrade our instance according to the versions Right now this instance is using the latest version that is called San Diego Patch 1. If there is another version of it that is greater than this version, then we, are, we can upgrade our instance by coming up into this window and selecting that particular version. Okay. Next is view history. This is just the instance history that tells you about the password reset, plugin activations or instance resets that has been done on your instances next is get instance help from this tab you can get help on your personal instance so you can visit these three links okay now we are going to close this window so we have discussed each thing on this tab we have discussed instance status release user role app engine studio instance action activity account view profile sign up so we have covered what other things you can do on your instance so this is the end of the video if you like this video do share the videos to others subscribe to the channel and if you have any queries write it down in a comment thanks for watching the video bye bye